Hey guys, I am so excited to show you this project. I think you're gonna love just how easy it is. I have a um, coffee table that I got just for the frame. I wanted to um, copy this Pottery Barn co coffee table and, um, and so I decided to make my own cover. So I took these um, spacer boards, they're also lattice boards, and I cut 12 inch strips out of them. So just clamp them, cut them. Okay, so this is the fun part um, where I'm attaching all the spacer boards. And now I'm not attaching the spacer boards directly to the coffee table because what I'm doing is I'm building a cover that will just slide directly over the top. So I'm using a half inch thick piece of plywood and then I'm using some wood glue and 18 gauge um, brad nails. Now my brad nails are 5 8 inch because I don't want them going all the way through the plywood. So consider the, the length of your brad nails if you take on this project. Um, it was really easy. I just, as you can see, I'm just wood gluing and then brad nailing. It was a lot of fun. And I'm just letting the boards um, go over the edge. And in just a moment, you will see how I handle that. And then I'm using those scrap pieces to fill in some of my holes. Okay, so I'm using my um, Craig jig to line up um, my circular saw. And this is great. It stays perfectly onto the board. It gives me that, it guides my cut. And I'm just cutting off right along the line. I'm not shaving off any plywood, just the pieces. And so that gives me a nice flush edge for when I wrap boards around um, the outside perimeter too. So super helpful jig. Now I'm just taking those pieces and I'm filling in the spots and I have to make a few more cuts but it's no big deal and it was really cool to see it really coming together. And now you'll also see there's some spaces and I did put wood filler into those um, but I would caution you on doing that because it didn't stain perfectly like it said it was stainable. So just keep that in mind if you have spaces, um, might be okay just to leave them. So finally I have my um, coffee table cover wrapped. I have the perimeter around there um, and I'm sanding it with 180 grit and then I'll do a 120 grit um, to really smooth it out. The 180 is to kind of get the roughness off those spacer boards and then I'll use a 220 to make it nice and smooth and make sure you clean it really well because staining is coming up next. Okay, so my favorite part is staining. Um, I'm using my favorite stain by Rove and Dwell. It's called Farmhouse and it's just a really nice uh, medium brown and um, it has a layering effect. So I just do one layer because I just want to add a little bit of warmth but after four hours, you can um, continue to add layers to get as dark or as rich of a brown that you want. And with my st um, staining sponge, I'm able to wipe it on evenly and then wipe it off because I don't want any pools or puddles and I want to get the stain as even as possible. Um, this is another reason why we sand beforehand and then you can also use a wood conditioner to help the wood absorb the stain evenly. Whenever I stain, um, I, I make sure that the stain is totally dry and then I take a sanding sponge and I sand uh, just a quick light sanding before my next um, staining layer. It just helps to smooth it all out and I dust it really good. Now this next step is a very thin whitewash and again with the um, staining sponge I'm able to carefully wipe it on and then immediately wipe it off. Now the instructions say to leave it on for a few minutes, but um, I don't want that much whiteness coming through. So this was my technique. With all my staining done, totally dry and ready to go, I clean, clean the surface and then I'm just using a matte uh, polyurethane to seal it. This is a coffee table um, and so it will be getting uh, harder use. Um, I like how the polyurethane is shiny. I can really see where I've um, hit all the spots and where I haven't. Um, but this will be great for keeping it durable and kid friendly. 
So here's the copy table before. It's pretty basic, uh, a thin layer. And now you can see where I'm getting that Pottery Barn copycat look, um, where I have, it looks like a thicker top um, and it's that pretty worn, like worn um, barn wood look. So anyways, I love the way it looks with my um, floating shelves. That's on my channel too. Um, and it just has a nice rustic worn vintage look and I absolutely love it for um, the price. So thanks for watching.